Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are covering the GW46, a gun with very good DPS, a very quick reload and a very good or maybe even an insane range. But the only downsides for the gun are its questionable recoil and the only 30 bullets max you get per magazine. So usually I would tell you now how to unlock this gun since it's a season 5 gun, but I already have it unlocked and I can't find online anything about how to unlock this gun so if you want to unlock this gun you just need to hover over it in your weapons and it will tell you what you need to do. Now that we have the basics down let's get into some numbers. As usual we start with the gun's ammo types. We got standard issue, high power and subsonic. This time around we will actually equip all three ammo types in our plus menu but since we will mainly use standard issue and high power I will only focus on them. The basic rule for those ammo types is to use standard issue on close to medium distance and high power on medium to long range distance. But what are the exact damage numbers now? So with standard issue we deal 28 damage per bullet up to 9 meters making the gun a 4 shot to kill and giving us a TTK of 222 milliseconds making the gun very competitive in this 9 meter range. Afterwards our damage drops down to 22 per bullet up to 49 meters meaning we now kill in 5 shots with a TTK of 296 milliseconds. Not great especially for like 10 to 30 meters but after that the range it's okay. Now since we get a slight fire rate decrease with high power our TTK will naturally be a bit slower. As for standard issue we did 28 damage up to 19 meters making the gun a 4 shot to kill again with a TTK of 245 milliseconds. After those 90 meters is where the gun not really shines but stays insanely consistent. We now kill in 5 shots giving us a TTK of 327 milliseconds. This is honestly quite bad. Especially for a range of 20 to 50 meters most SMGs will probably out DPS you. But here's the thing you get this TTK up to 149 meters making the gun probably the most consistent AR for long range gunfights. So if you want insane consistency on range while still being very competitive in close range the GEW with 5 power rounds is the perfect choice. But there's even more. Since we get the typical headshot multiplier of 2.15 this means just one headshot cuts our TTK down by one bullet meaning we suddenly get a TTK of less than 200 milliseconds in close range and a TTK of 245 milliseconds up to 149 meters. That's just insane if you just think about it shredding somebody in 245 milliseconds on like 120 meters insane of course with such good characteristics we also have some downsides the first one being that we only get 30 bullets max per magazine so get used to the reload animation since you will be seeing it quite often but at least the reload times are very good with 2.05 and 2.07 for standard issue and 2.54 for high power extended so it doesn't matter if you shoot your gun empty or not the reload will be the same and the other downside is the gun's recoil i can't quite put a finger on it but the gun never fits quite right to me. But this just might be a skill issue on my part honestly and for you the gun might control perfectly fine. So now it's time for the attachments. So attachments, here we will see nothing surprising. As always I play with the Fusion Holo even for long range but since scopes are personal preference just put on there what you feel comfortable with and hit the most shots with. Now as for ammo types since we are using standard issue and high power I personally have standard issue in the first spot since I like to play redacted and there an increased fire rate is often more beneficial than more consistent damage but if you play a lot of conquest or long range maps you might want to put high power in the first slot and standard issue in the second and then lastly we fill out our third spot with subsonic since it also also gives us 30 bullets. As for our underbarrels, honestly I have two options this time. For one I have the STNR laser sight for the recoil decrease since I personally don't really like the recoil of the gun and even with the more recoil control I get from the script or laser sight rather it still sometimes doesn't feel quite right but I also really like the hip fire accuracy since you can use the DW very nicely in a close combat and they are having better hip fire is useful so I like to run this attachments but should I play on a really long range map and I feel like I'm missing a lot of shots not because of recoil but because of my accuracy I also switch out to the BCG light grip sometimes but usually I run the STNR laser side. As for muzzles pretty simple tactical compensator to get the accuracy boost and hit your shots and of course the rip suppressor if you want to be a bit more stealthy and this time around since every magazine has 30 bullets this time you can also go full 
full stealth by just using the rip suppressor and then putting in the subsonic bullets. As for our specialists, I would advise you to run assault just for the three extra magazines you get with this gun. I think you get a maximum of like three magazines to reload. So you have, I think, 120 bullets per magazine choice. So that's not really a lot. And since you will be reloading this gun quite a lot, you will run through your ammo also quite a lot. So either pick this gun on a support where you can resupply yourself the whole time. Or what I think is the better option is to run it on assault, especially make hay, since you not only start out with the three extra magazines, but since you Will play quite aggressive with the gun usually you can also pick up ammo from dead enemies so with all of this said should you use the gun honestly it kind of depends i personally feel like the gun falls into the gun utility category what do i mean by this basically it's a gun that you pull out when you don't know how the round will play out in terms of how close or far away you are from the enemy and even though the gun is insanely consistent there are other guns that fulfill a certain playstyle better while the gew is kind of like the m5a3 more of a gun for everything and of course insane for consistency shooting at long range so go try the gun out and see how you like it anyways thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video consider leaving a like and subscribing for future battlefield content and i will see you in the next one